welcome thank you so much for clicking on this video i'm pretty excited for this one to be honest so um as you guys all know like that submersible the titan that went down and you know killed killed those you know really uh rich people actually they were pretty you know abundant you know what i'm saying so i found it really fishy like when the whole thing happened and you heard about like the controller and how it went missing and stuff like that so i was honestly waiting for time to go by so you know information can come out so people like me can break it down but um yeah let's just move on so i got help from this amazing video from jason herbert his youtube channel is pretty nice because he pretty much does what you know i want to do just like break down things and in, in a very like you know simple way because things yeah when things happen there's so many things that could go wrong but you know we try to emphasize you know the simple things that could have been prevented so let's move on so in this video from jason herbert which is titled the new shocking discovery of ocean gates titan 3d animation will, will provide to us the details of what happened you know that awful day and i'm sure we all want to know what happened and and we want to know like what went wrong and stuff like that so in this video we will focus on the design and the functions of ocean gates titan and he pretty much said that after we have a clear understanding of like the functions we can look into the history of the titan submersible's shortcomings so a recent report by an underwater expert describes how the five crew members knew that their fate that their fate prior to dying so yeah allegedly an underwater expert says that the five crew members already knew that they were gonna die like before you know the titan imploded so yeah i just want to say like just stay in tune until the very end of this video just to sh like to show you guys why it happened and stuff like that so the first segment in this video was the designs and functions of the titan submersible so the submersible's design was split into three parts the boat end cap the hull and the, the aft end cap and the two titanium caps that hold the carbon fiber hole in between have a shape that is precisely like a capsule. The triple purpose boat end cap features plexiglass viewports for external scenery. And it also serves as both a hatchway to enter the submersible and a restroom. That's pretty cool like how they all ha they have all this stuff in one small little thing, right? So moving on. So there's just enough space in the hole for the pilot and four passengers. There's no one on the Afghan cap and other electronics and recycled oxygen are stored outside of it. So, man, it's like a lot of stuff in this little small submersible. It's crazy. Um, and this landing frame has weights also attached to it. And these weights aid in descending more successfully. Um, and also to lighten the load, you can release the ones that are hanging, which facilitates resurfacing with little thrusting force. So yeah, there's so many like technical things within this titan that has to go right you know like yeah technology is awesome but also like we have to make sure that everything is running properly so it gets really sophisticated when it comes to, like breaking down why this titan went down the way it went down this stuff so regarding the thrusters he talks about pretty much like how they work so the forward and backward motion is managed by the horizontal thrusters these thrusters rotate in opposing directions the movement that is ascending or descending is controlled by the vertical thrusters and similar to that by rotating in opposite directions these thrusters can regulate the tilt he then leads us inside the titan's interior um and pretty much right here what you're seeing is the toilet seat that's inside of this box and it's also like a curtain that they use to like close off just for privacy and stuff and next is like the hole which is like kind of reminds me of like the living room and there's like in, in here is like all these screens so like the sonar screen is the, the one on the left this sonar provides accurate range and navigation in contrast to like radar that we use like above water which uses like light waves on land sonar uses sound waves underwater to find signals that are close by and um the control panel is shown on the screen to the right the most important one is looking at the front mounted external camera as you guys can see like the big screen um they said this is the most important one yeah all this information he has given us pretty much help us gain a better understanding of the submersible's operation so now we can discuss like the specifics of what the earlier explorers reported following their experimental dive with titan so yeah there was supposedly a lot of people that were already indicating a lot of issues with the submersible and still like it was ignored so the next segment is the experimental dives 
So all this is before the, the tragedy, of course. So the New York Post reported that a report from the 2022 document team stated that Scott Griffith, the former Titan submersible pilot, lost control of the craft when the thrusters malfunctioned during their experiment. Only 300 meters from the Titanic, the five crew members were in a terrifying situation and were panicking. It is purported that an incorrect installation of one of the thrusters resulted in one thruster pushing the sub in one direction while the other propelled it in the opposite direction. So fortunately, after a few hours, the crew members were able to reprogram the controller <laughs> and resolve the propulsion problem. The reason why I'm laughing is because, yeah, that's the reason why they said the submersible, the submersible imploded because they didn't have a controller to like fix it and whatnot. And everybody was making those memes with the controller and stuff. It was crazy. So moving on, they then proceeded to investigate the Titanic. The CEO of OceanGate, Stockton Rush, dismissed the documentary's crew's worries about the thrusters when they came ashore, telling them that nearly every deep sea sub makes a noise at some point. I would have been so salty if he would have told me that. I'm like, really? You know, it just shows you that people don't. I don't know. Maybe there's a reason why he's saying that. Maybe he knew there was something wrong with it and he didn't care. Or maybe he just really assumed there was nothing wrong with it. But still, like, you know, lack of responsibility. So let's travel back in time to 2021. Brian Weed, Rush, and his associates take a Titanic test dive. The communication system failed, the computers malfunctioned, and the propulsion stopped working. Rush attempted to restart and troubleshoot the ship's touchscreen. You could tell that he was flustered and not really happy with the performance, Wheat said. So other explorers reported hearing strange noises while, while diving, but their worries weren't given much attention. So you can see that was a stressful situation. <clears throat> Can't imagine what was going, like what was going through their minds when all that's happening. That's just pretty scared to be deep underwater in a small submersible, knowing that anything can happen, you know? So let's move on to the next segment. Jose Luis Martin's theory. So this theory is pretty interesting. This is pretty much what they believe happened to them so as you may have already be aware titan was experiencing similar problems over the years which i pretty much discussed to you guys and according to recent reports from mir which is i think like a news article place or like a website the five individuals who perished on board most likely realized their fate 48 to 71 seconds prior to the implosion and just let you guys know if you guys don't know what an implosion is it's pretty much when it's like a crazy explosion that's what happened to them like with all the pressure like implosion literally it's just so quick and it's just a combination of pressure and all these mixture of other things and it's it's something you don't want to be in and i'm going to show you guys how the implosion looks like very soon so this is the conclusion reached by spanish engineer and underwater specialist jose luis martin who pretty much said in his report that the titan was experiencing an electrical malfunction so that's pretty scary as well electrical malfunction inside of a submersible that needs electricity to function crazy an electrical malfunction during the Titan's controlled submersion must have prevented the craft from propulsion. The 440 kilograms or 881 pounds of passengers at the porthole caused the submersible to become unbalanced, causing the Titan to shift positions and fall vertically like an arrow. The pilot was unable to descend weights and surface by pulling the emergency lever. Furthermore, it is immobile due to damage to its control and safety mechanisms. The hull would have experienced a sharp rise in underwater pressure as it descended to the ocean's depths. Following those 48 seconds or one minute, there is an implosion and an immediate unexpected death, as you guys seen here. And I'm also going to show you another video right now, uh, just a, a separate video of just more details of how it looks like being inside of a submersible when it implodes. Here it is. So I'm just gonna skip a little bit. So pretty much just going straight into the depth. They're just showing you how far they were, which is pretty interesting because I just know that b being human and being that far down is not good for the body. I love watching deep dive videos and what happens to the body when you're like that far down. It's crazy. So right now they're also gonna like break down like some numbers, just let you guys know. So supposedly this is the possible break point that caused the implosion. And they also said that everything is so instant that like they didn't feel anything. They said like as soon as the like 
the implosion happened, like they said, like lights out. So they said for people not to worry that they were like suffering and stuff like that. So these are the numbers. I'm not really good with breaking down these numbers, but maybe someone knows this stuff. So this is real time of the implosion. So, so fast, you can barely see it. And this is going to be the slow motion. So it's basically implosion, like basically squeeze the living death out of you. And as you guys can see, like imagine their blood, bones, just internal, internal organs just being spreaded throughout the ocean. Like no trace of them, just absolutely gone. Not to include, there was a father and son in this. So again, this is just a little more detail of what happened. It's crazy. I just can't imagine being inside of there when that happens. Like. I just can't imagine so yeah i'm gonna pretty much cut it there so that's pretty much what happens so the coast guards like discovered the debris which they estimated to be 485 meters from the titanic and the next segment that you know this person put in the documentary was like the latest news like today so the most recent details that might have caused this implosion have been made public on mir Rather than being positioned on board, the Titan was tied to the parent ship and hauled out to sea for three days. Globally recognized engineers have testified that the Titan's submersible's failure was probably caused by poor design decisions and three days of brutal ocean waves beating against it. So red flags abound, safety concerns are disregarded, certifications are evaded, and engineering regulations are broken. So these are pretty much all like the red flags that, you know, the, the people who own the titan they were literally not taking responsibility and they were just it's interesting the agreement documents contain numerous instances of the word death and customers must sign before boarding so yeah before people get on the titan they said on the contract there's so many occurrences of the word death so if i had a contract in my hand and i see the word death more than three times i'm leaving but they said it was like spread it throughout the contract so it's just really fishy you know well of course it's fishy you're going deep within the ocean i guess they have to do that for you know not like to be liable and stuff like that but it's just like why would you want to do it is it worth it you know all right let's see so the person in the documentary asked the question was this intended to be a death trap for the wealthy it's a really good question it could also be very controversial as well so yeah, pretty much Fox reports that federal investigators believe it may take up to 18 months to assert in the case of Titan's implosion. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I don't think this case will ever be solved, to be honest. But yeah, it's just very unfortunate for these people to go through that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and hope to see y'all again next time.